me. I want to make sure I show you guys how to do this in case you don't have a TI calculator at home. <clears throat> now, if you do, it's not quite as big of a deal, but I did find a website. Uh, so this table shows temperatures for a day in Denver, Colorado. What is the quadratic model for this data? Predict the high temperature for the day and what time does that happen? So quadratic model simply means that we're going to have an X squared problem. So 6 a.m. is good, 9 a.m. is good, 12 p.m. is good. But when you put three in a calculator, it's gonna think you mean like 3 a.m. So we have to go to military time. We're gonna be putting 15 in, military time again, 18, military time again, if you go to like 9 p.m. is 21. So we have to put six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21 in our calculator. Keep your Y's the same. Now I'm gonna open up Schoology. I do have this, um, I have this quadratic regression calculator right here that I found for you this morning. So I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna take me to a website. Uh, it looks like you can do it in here. However, if something happens, please feel free to use, um, open it in Safari. All right, so what I'm gonna to need to do is, if I can, I'm gonna screen share with Notability and Schoology. All right. And this website that I gave you, you're just gonna type them in like this. So you're gonna do six comma 63, enter nine comma 76. I don't even know, I don't think I have to even separate those. Um, 12 comma 86, or like with a space, I think I'm good. 15, 89, 18, 85, Uh, 21 comma 76. And I think I got them all. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So I got them all. Um, this one here says select the degree of the polynomial. A two is good because it's X squared. You do not want to do allow comma because then it's going to think it's a decimal or something. So you're going to hit calculate. And down here you have your equation. Um, let's see if I can spread that out a little more. There, that looks good. What I'm going to do is cheat, <clears throat> and I am going to screenshot this, as you can as well. Okay, open up my screenshot, just because this is a lot to write otherwise. Whoops. I think I have to use my... There's our equation. There's our R squared. R squared looks pretty good. I'm like 99%. Okay, I'm going to hit done. Save to photos. You guys are probably better at this iPad thing than I am. And let's see, add photo library. There's my equation, add it here. Good, okay, there it is. So there's my equation, everybody. Um, now what I can do is since that's such a nice like little equation, that's the equation that if you plug those X's in, you'll get out those Y's. Um, what time does the high temperature occur? Well, the high temperature simply means to find the maximum. And we did that a lot in 4-2. That's x equals opposite b over 2a. And then I'm going to have to plug that in. So opposite b is opposite 9.798. I'm just rounding. Uh, over 2 times a. Now, see this 10 to the negative 1? I guess you guys need to kind of know scientific notation. That just means to back your decimal up there. Um, so I mean, like, honestly, if you didn't know that, you could just type all that in but it ends up being negative 0.3294. That's me just rounding. Again, 10 to the negative first means move it to the left one. I really over-exaggerated that parenthesis, didn't I? Let me grab my calculator. Let me do a dual screen with notability here. All right, let's type this in. Negative 9.3294. 798 divide by, I'm going to put parentheses in front of my 2, 2 times negative 0.3294, and that's how you get 14.87, essentially. So 14.87, that's your x value, and now we have to plug that in to get y. So I'm going to zoom into this equation. I'm going to do negative 3.294. I'll just round to the, so I went to here. I rounded that three to four times x squared, so 14.87 squared. Um, plus, my rest of my equation is 
14.798 times 14.87, and then plus 15.57. If I hit enter, I did something wrong. Okay, let's plug that in again. Negative 3, negative 0.3, 294 times 14.87 um, squared plus 9.798 when you round times 14.87 plus 15.57. So you can see I missed a decimal that really cost. So we got 88.4. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decipher what those two things mean according to the problem. It says what time does the temperature, uh, hap the high temperature happen and what is the high temperature? So I can say that the time, the military time is 14.87. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll say that high temp predicted is 88.4 and that's degrees Fahrenheit. Now you guys might be like, wait, I thought the high was 89. Well, the reason we're, we're, we're doing a model, this is the estimated high. And if you guys like look at it, I mean, it's pretty close to 89, right? Like it's a pretty good estimate. So <clears throat> I understand, I know the high was actually 89, but again, this is just an estimated linear regression that gives us about the correct values. Okay, so I wanna talk about this time of 14.87. A lot of kids don't know what that means. If we know that 12 o'clock is noon, then 14, quote unquote, o'clock is 2 p.m. And in order to change this to minutes, a lot of kids, some, I've had students in the past say it's two o'clock and 87 minutes. That's not how it works. It's 0. 0.87 times 60. So it's 52 minutes. So about 2.52 PM and high 84, 88.4 is estimated. I understand it is actually 89.